Well, yeah, the Python Slayer, huh? He installs his uh, virgin uh, teenager in the newly constructed. Yeah, they they burned down the old the old scene. Yeah, they they made a new uh, spot uh, above the fissure where this teenage uh, oracle now of Apollo. See how he slipped in there when nobody was looking. Uh and she will explain. Um, yeah. She will be the villager's uh, link to him. Yeah, and to the other gods and goddesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody has any questions for the Mount Olympus crowd, I mean, just ask her. Oh, 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 and she will... <clears throat> mm. Get stoned on her ass. That's what she'll do uh, from the vaporous uh, fumes. Uh, going yeah, into trance and mumble some, well, it's incomprehensible to you, peasants. But to her, okay, okay, wait a minute. Uh, uh, policies, he must appoint some male interpreters, translators, to be the priests of Apollo. I was like, building up a whole institution on this little, let's get high at the fissure scene. Uh, yeah, male translators. of his uh, oracle's prophecies. Okay. That will give the oracle some class, maybe. And he deputizes these male translators, mm -hmm. priests of Apollo. Uh, that way he can slip out, back down to the port of Kira. Transform into a dolphin, which is really his inner nature anyway. Too bad dolphins didn't take over the world. <clears throat> yeah, they're not slaying themselves in mass. Uh, uh, <laughs> him as a <laughs> oh no, yeah, those big monkeys took over, and <clears throat> the rest is <sighs> painful history, basically. Yeah, oh, and uh, yeah, he got away. I changed into a dolphin. Lazily swims away. Uh, uh, faster than uh, a Greek can make a stack of seven uh, uh, figs into a pyramid on the ass of a drunk Phoenician. Apollo's gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Until... <laughs> Oh, back to good to be back in Crete. You know, Dionysus, party time. Life is good. But what? Trouble in Temple Town? Uh, something about the Virgin Oracle of uh, Apollo. Well, she was vulnerable and unprotected up there. Uh -huh. She did not have a, a man eating Komodo dragon to protect her. As a boyfriend, and, uh, because she was uh, so isolated way up there by the spring of Castilian, cascading down the mountain of uh, mighty Parnassus through the ravine. <sighs> of Papidia. You know, water doesn't have that easy of a trip either uh, through the uh, rock cleft, through the craggy flanks of the rocks of Phidiades. Twin sentinels? of the mighty uh, gorge of uh, Pleistos, uh, where, you know, cypress, uh, oak, uh, pine forest, well, they eventually fade into uh, fields of juniper, lavender. Time. <clears throat> Mint. Uh, Mandrake root. <laughs> uh, what are those weird 
purple thistling, uh, purple flowering uh, thistles, like 12 feet high. Uh, and then uh, almond trees, dwarf, dwarf irises, uh, sage. Makes good tea, huh? It's all over the cliff face by my cave, huh? <laughs> I've been lots of good sage tea, huh? And exotic fruit arches all the way down to that suspect Gulf of Corinth. I mean, it's been 600 meters to try to get to the end of the sentence. Uh, 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 to the uh, lethargic port village of <sighs> Kira. I hope you're still with me. And put a long dash here. The Tempting Virgin Oracle of Delphi was not a virgin for very long. All the goat herders? Yeah. In the neighborhood. Banged her. Like a vulnerable lost shape. Uh, and you guessed it, her womb swells up with bastard peasant child. You know, uh, but slowly, you know. They didn't notice it first. It's kind of like a Minoan unwinding a ball of uh, twine in a labyrinth while skidding through plops of minotaur shit in the dark. Off, oh, Mount Apollo to Dionysus and his <laughs> drinking maze. Apollo, yeah, he's got to swim back to Delphi. Dump the teenage virgin <clears throat> scene and uh, grab the oldest hag in town. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. burlap sack. Call that a dress, honey. Uh, puts a sign around her neck. Do not fuck, barren, slut, virgin, hag. And so for 1,700 years, nobody fucked her, fucked around with her. Oh, these she oracles of Apollo. Yeah. You need a more, there's got to be a twist in the story here, because uh, this is getting a pretty long-winded. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fissure freak out. What happened? Uh, oh, 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 the original natural Gaia fissure uh, become clogged mm. with Earth after 300 years. I mean, they were just getting going here because of, uh, oh no, <laughs> gigantic earthquake clogged up everything. And so the... Uh, well, he's ever youthful. <laughs> Apollo? He must substitute somebody else for his oracle. Uh, I mean, something to get her stoned on. I mean, the hag's working, but there's nothing to, you know, <clears throat> anymore. Uh, yeah, to replace those crazy making fissure fields. <laughs> like a nitrous oxide trip. You ever go to a Grateful Dead concert? Yeah, they got got that long tank sticking out the back of the pickup truck. Oh, guy there with a pack of balloons, 500 balloons, huh? You give him a couple of bucks, and then you, you just, he gives you the balloon with the nitrous oxide, and you go. <laughs> and you become God. For nine seconds? And then it's all back to the same old. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, um, he tries everything. Bottle, oh, huh? He encourages the oracle, <laughs> older oracle, uh, to uh, breathe in a bunch of uh, burning laurel twigs. I mean, they're everywhere, huh? Might as well try that. She won't quack, bark, nothing's coming up. Uh, yeah. Apollo panics, so 
the France of that annual Rotten Rye uh, Egyptian Beer Festival down in <laughs> Alesius. Yeah, they're going to tempt away his aristocratic wealthy patrons. Uh, he might lose the whole Athenian the theatrical crowd, too, if he cannot get his now dumbed down an Oracle of Delphi to go nuts on stage. Yeah, he's desperate for a new high first check, okay? Yeah, a new high. Uh, uh, and at this urgent <clears throat> crossroads in antiquity, and it could have gone either way. Matriarchy could have survived, and the, or the patriarchy could have like dumbed down the whole world for, forever after that, like it has right up to. <clears throat> uh, well, that's when this muscular, well-toned... He's an Olympic track star. Shows up. Totally naked. The Belvedere Apollo likes that he's totally naked, except for oh, Laurel Twigs, the clown. Yeah, he won the uh, Olympic Games, and uh, he's got some leather sandals. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and and uh, uh, this uh, uh, track star uh, uh, seductively hints uh, like, uh, hey, frustrated, huh? Belvedere bed. Maybe this will help you out. What's that? Oh. He's not paying that much attention because Apollo, uh, he, he, he yearns to lick the perspiring uh, chisel abs of the track star yeah. oh, as he unfurls his uh, palm to display a uh, handful of juicy marijuana buds. It's not, it doesn't grow that commonly here in the rocky Greek hillsides, not like in the Hindu Kush in Afghanistan. Uh, yeah, looks like some uh, fatty cannabis sativa there. Uh, ob observes Apollo, obviously. Yeah, well, might as well try the uh, homegrown stuff, throw it on the fire. And that's when the whole temple of Apollo, I mean, like the inner sanctuary, and all that, yeah, uh, fills up with the uh, marijuana smoke. And uh, the oracle of Delphi becomes wasted to the gills, huh? And prophetically fumes and foams and drools wisdom from the mouth. From the cannabis stink bombs. So, finally, uh, the oracle uh, soars into the desired uh, realm of <clears throat> yeah, supramental ravings. Yeah, well, showtime for outrageous oracle theater. Eat your heart out, Percy freaks, because my virgin hag hauls on raw prophecy frooms once again. <laughs> Exalts Apollo. Oh, he's ecstatic with your leg. Huh? And keep that track star nearby. Uh, uh, at last, he can transmogrify into a dolphin again and swim back to Dionysus in Crete for the perfect sunset. Cognac? And as Apollo swims out of the uh, Gulf of Corinth at sunset, he executes a spectacular backflip with a one and a half twist. Yeah. For the fun of it. For <laughs> fun.